Well, thank you for the introductions. I, I feel like I know everybody a little bit now, a little bit better. Uh, so we'll start just a, a less formal introduction, then I'll get into the slides and start going with my regular introduction. Uh, I've been doing lean for, gosh, 30 plus years, started in 1985 uh, when I had my first sensei, uh, Shigeo Shingo, which I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, so currently I'm a consultant so that I travel around the world, uh, mainly in the United States now since uh, post-COVID, and really are helping companies with the culture and with the uh, mechanics of sustaining a lean effort. Uh, a lot of the efforts I did in the past were just simple Kaizen events. Now I'm into the culture, uh, also into, I guess you'd call it more of a turnaround strategy. The clients that I have now have significant problems trying to uh, survive and meet orders to the customers. So I'm helping them uh, achieve that. So but the current client I'm working with now, tier one supplier, uh, they're uh, customers are very unhappy. And in about six weeks, we jumped the productivity up 26%. Uh, so they're happier, uh, but we still have lots of issues. And a common thread in all the clients, besides the culture issues, is the maintenance of equipment. So that TPM is always an element of every uh, client that I'm working with. Uh, so this is something that I've worked with uh, for a very long time as to what works, what doesn't work with the TPM. And we'll start that discussion. That's why George and I got together in the first place, because we think there's a better way to do it based on what we've learned in our experiences and the information we understand from uh, others who try TPM uh, going forward. So and as far as horses, I had two horses at one time when my kids were younger both my kids are uh, out of college and out and about, no grandkids, but uh, we had two or three horses, um, two mainly, and we had 35 chickens and we had a whole mini farm going on there. So I, I can relate to those experiences. All right. So let's uh, let's start uh, again. My name is Mike Robleski. It's a Polish last name. So when others look at my last name, they stumble over how to pronounce it everywhere since I've been growing up to uh, present day. So in the spirit of lean and trying to make things easier and better and using simple tools like visual management, if you look at the slide and you can see uh, from a visual management point of view with the pictures, if you follow the pictures, it's pronounced Robleski. Can everybody say that? Give it a try. Yes. Robleski. All right. Excellent. <laughs> so again, this is a fun way to show how simple little um work aids can help make a problem uh, go away. But the key point on this is to understand what is the problem you're trying to solve. So there are many, many uh, tools and artifacts and things, books written on lean, all kinds of things that you need to do this, you need to do that. Um, but what is bottom line in everything in lean thinking is if you understand the problem first and get to root causes, uh, the solutions become pretty evident of what you need to work on uh, versus doing solutions that uh, don't affect the actual problem and the outcome. So the bottom line thread and TPM and everything else is that we really need to understand the problem. And then from understanding the problem, get to the root cause uh, from that approach. Uh, my background, uh, I started as an industrial engineer uh, for Hillrom, making hospital beds in Batesville, Indiana. Uh, I did that for about 16 years. Uh, from that experience, uh, we had the Japanese consultants coming in in the 80s, teaching us Kaizen and everything lean. I uh, went to a couple other companies uh, for my industrial engineering background, became a quality manager, uh, a materials control uh, manager, director of operations, plant manager, and then eventually made my way back to Batesville to Batesville Casket. And I was at the corporate office being their lean sensei, helping uh, make sure that the culture of lean uh, goes throughout the whole facility, all five plants uh, worldwide. And and that interesting thing about that is both Hillrom and Batesville Casket are owned by the Hill and Brand family. They have since split off into separate stock ticks. Uh, so they are actually uh, separately uh, run companies. And for 20, 30 years, they've been working on uh, the lean approach. So every mistake you can make in lean Every wrong turn, every uh, misstep I've made. And one of the first major mistakes I made, uh, being an aggressive engineer 
an arrogant engineer. I just want to let you know I'm an, a recovering arrogant engineer. Um, since I thought I knew everything uh, and wanted to make improvements, one of the first mistakes I made was doing a Kaizen event, realizing I could cut manpower by 25% and then laying them off. Well, that didn't work very well because if you don't want to do another Kaizen event, people are going to look around and say, no, I'm not going to help you on this next event because you're going to fire me. So one of the things that I learned really early is it's not about cutting people because we want their brain power. We train them. We want them part of the solution. We need to have a growth strategy going forward. So that was not uh, the correct approach. So I learned that early in my career. Uh, the other thing I learned um, is that dealing with the people that are closest to the job are the ones that are the experts, uh, get that information that they have and use that uh, to work as a team to make improvements. So we'll explain as we go through this whole process here how teamwork is really important in, uh, in doing TPM and other things with the lean approach. One thing you may have noticed is that Hillrom and Batesville Casket, if you look at the products, they look pretty similar. So the joke of Hillrom when I was there is uh, since the plants were right across the street from each other, that if our product at Hillrom didn't work for you, you could go across the street. We have another product you might be interested in. Uh, so we thought that was hilarious, but if you ever worked with the Batesville Casket group, uh, they take their product pretty serious. Uh, they don't joke around too much, so they didn't appreciate our humor. But we did learn a lot about the lean, mistakes and all, and from that I, I learned others uh, from other clients as I went further.